Well, this week's To the Rescue focuses on a new day for shelter animals and volunteers in Brown County. After serving the community out of a 4,000 square foot building for over 30 years, they just moved into a brand new facility. Take a look. For years, the Brown County Humane Society has had a national reputation as the little shelter with big results. With a 99% save rate, one of the highest in the nation. Oh, you're perfect. Community Relations Manager Megan Gashwa says several successful programs have helped. We started our spot spay neuter program about 10, 11 years ago, and that has over half, decreased the number of animals in the shelter over half in the 10 years. So without us and without that program, I mean, I think stray animals would just be running rampant with nowhere to go, nobody to do anything. What's he got? What's he got? And He's now like, a brand new facility thing. that's more than double the size of the old one has been christened with a parade of animals to their new temporary home. Today we got some of our volunteers together, some of those bigger donors who made some of these specific rooms possible, and we asked them, hey, do you want to come out and just help us move the animals? We're going to put some boas on the dogs, some balloons on the crates. Let's just have some fun with it. So this is the old animal shelter, and this the only outdoor play area they had for all of the animals for 34 years. And now the new facility with all these outdoor pens for the dogs on beautiful days like today, all of these play areas for the animals and even these catios for the cats. The facility is mostly run by volunteers like Marge Abels. You funny, you know it, you funny. To me, it's a world of difference in what was at the old shelter, although they, you know, we did the best we could with what we had, but this is just all about the animals now. And they're always looking for more volunteers. You know, just general cleaning, um, you know, front office help. You know, if we could just have somebody each afternoon when we're open that can man the phones, if you like to do customer service, you know, then that lets our staff do the more detailed adoption, counseling, that type of thing. And eventually a home for all the animals. He will talk to you. Now, if you'd like to learn more about the Brown County Humane Society or see their animals that are up for adoption, just head over to WTHR.com slash to the rescue. And if you know of a shelter or rescue doing some great work, let us know. You can email to the rescue at WTHR.com. The other great thing about that facility, uh, no bills to pay because it was yeah. all paid for from wow. just local donors oh and my. people that were hoping that they could get a new facility. Oh, so that's so great. Yeah. I love the extra play space for yeah. the outside. Oh, yeah. and just a night and day. Yeah. No wild dogs running around mm -hmm. in the woods and so forth because they've got a place yeah. to go and yeah. hopefully Absolutely. get a home.